In this video, we're gonna talk about why adapting to the current market environment is key for trading success. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So adapting to the current market environment is key to success. Wow, this one's close to my heart. I'm gonna tell you a story why this one is so close to my heart. I had, let me underline that before I don't talk into the whiteboard, let me talk to you. I had a situation where I was trading a strategy. It was a very aggressive day trading strategy, probably 10, maybe 12 years ago. Very good, it was making good money. And then the market conditions changed. Okay, now the strategy started to perform less and less. The money wasn't very good. And you get to a point where you've got to make a decision. Do you stick to the strategy and say, well, I'm staying to the strategy. Um, it's just a bit of a rough patch. It's not making so much, but it will start to pick up again. Um, and then we can get back in it and we can increase the size. And we can make more than we did last time. Or do you say, you know what? Things have changed. The market's not the same anymore. You're using the wrong tool for the job. And, you know, I made a mistake. I put my hands up and say I made a mistake. I stayed with that strategy for too long. And it took me too long to kind of adapt to the changing market environment. And now I'm much better at doing that. I'm much more kind of aware that conditions change. You need to use a different strategy for different market conditions. So this video is literally all about adapting to the current market environment. So what have we got? We've got what we could be called a trending market. Um, and actually a lot of people have done this, guys. I'm just stepping on the wire here, on the microphone wire. A lot of people have done this. You look at the look at the kind of bubble in 99, 2000, trending environment, bull market, buying any pullback was just, a, was just an easy way of doing it. Buying more stock on a pullback, any tech stock, and off you go. Market changes conditions, it just becomes what was a winning strategy becomes a complete losing strategy. That's an extreme example, but let's look at this from a perspective of sort of trending, transitioning into, you know, rotational or quiet. And this happens even on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're an intraday trader, swing trader or intraday trader, very, very similar. Um, even from an hour to hour, guys, you have trending for a few hours, then goes rotational. So if you're a day trader, you're using a momentum trend play then you've got to know, hey, we're not in that environment anymore. If I'm doing that, I'm going to get stung. So even on a real small micro perspective and a macro, it works. So looking at kind of the bigger picture here, let's just stick with the bigger picture. Market goes from a trending market to a rotational market. You're using moving average crossovers. You're using breakouts. You're buying pullbacks. It's just you know that that's just not going to work in rotational you need to be mean reverse. You need to flip to a mean reversion type strategy. Similarly, if you're using mean reversion in trending, you're going to get killed as well. Every new high goes to a new high. If you're selling new highs, you're going to get killed. So it's knowing the transition and adapting to the current market conditions. Honestly, this is the biggest, one of the biggest things. I know I say a lot of things are the big things, but this genuinely is something that will keep give you long-term success. So trading to rotational. So how do you, how do you know? What to do? Well, this is the thing where it is where your skill comes in, guys. This is where you say, you know what? Things are changing a bit here. We're not making as fresh hearts as we were. The volume has died down a little bit. Um, you know, the, the the average true range of the day has gone quite got gone sm smaller. Um, people are focusing in the media on different things now. Uh, you know, earnings aren't moving stocks so much. Whatever it may be, these little clues that you take are going to mean that you have to transition to a different market strategy. And ultimately, you know, if we keep it on a, on a full macro level, this change will happen for multiple years. We'll go into years where the market is just deadly quiet. And actually, exactly the same thing happened to me again. And this is when I shifted to another uh, market. I was trading the Dow. Very, very nice. Then it went so quiet that it was very tricky as a day trader to extract meaningful profit without going in big size. But then of course the spread, it was just, I recognized then, and because I had that before with the shift, I didn't make quick enough. I recognized, hey, I've got to make the shift now. Let's shift into something that's a little bit more, more akin to my strategy, which is momentum and, and kind of, I don't know, that kind of movement, aggressive movement. Let's move into something else. Then tech stocks were just starting to get going again. Um, so moved into those and started trading a lot more of those industry bases. And that's the key. Guys, it's not about necessarily shifting. You've got to shift something. You either shift your strategy and say, hey, trending strategy doesn't work in rotation. We're in a rotational market. I need to do mean reversion strategies. Or you find another market that fits the strategy you know you're good at. If you know you're good at trading momentum, explosions, trending, um, you know, volatility, expansion, go find something that's doing that. Switch to that. 
If you want to stay in the same market, then switch the strategy. If you like trading currency pairs and you want to carry on trading the euro and it's gone into a, you know, from a rotational to a trending environment or aggressive environment, you need to switch strategies. And that's the key, guys. And this is the thing when people say, you know, systems work very, very well for a period of time. Yeah, but you need to change systems or you need to adapt the current system or you need to move into something else to keep that consistency going because the same market conditions will not be there forever and different market conditions just mean different trading environment completely just a different skill set required completely so being adapt adapting to current market environment is key to success or and my little caveat on that is adapting the 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 um the market you're trading to the strategy you're using so consider it as a toolbox you've got a tool set of strategies you bolt them into the right market you're going to make some good money out of it it's going to work very very well you bolt it into the wrong one you're going to completely mess up you know uh, and unfortunately this is a downfall for many people they have a market conditions working very well for them strategies working very very well they don't adapt quick enough like i say i was guilty of that don't adapt quick enough don't step back now the key obviously is is it temporary are we going into a like a month of rotation we're back in the game that's up for you to monitor as well guys you've got to keep monitoring the performance of your strategy keep monitoring whether you're right or wrong in terms of you know analyzing are we trending are we rotating or whatever anyway that's it for now let me know in the comments below your thoughts on that adapting to current market conditions and current market environment like i say micro level as well happens on a day perspective you know we do have these different market conditions where strategies can be employed as i always say you know lunchtime very rarely will you find me chasing volatility expansion because generally speaking it's not there for the taking so anyway guys good trading um see you in the next one keep the risk managed as always good trading take take care bye bye